Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Art and Vital Gamer. Let's play Mad Arc's Laboratory on the PS1. This is part two of our four part series. Let's begin. Alert status. Elevator locked. As you can see, as that the elevator is locked, our task is to basically clean out the virus that infected the computer in order to unlock the elevator to go downstairs. DD, stop lab. playing around with that keyboard! Computer, what has he done to you? Dexter, a virus has damaged a number of my main systems. Until they are back online, I cannot remove alert status and enable the elevator. Be strong, my love. I will mend your broken systems. And of course, like previously, before we even start the mini games, we're gonna go find the blueprint so that we can basically make the mini games a little bit easier, so that we have a higher chance of winning. This is too easy. Computer damage report. I have located bugs in my circuitry. What? A computer bug? Well, this is one scientist who does not take kindly to interlopers. Computer, your beautiful circuits. To get to the blueprints, you just need to walk around the circuit, a little more around, and right there. There's our first blueprint. Aha, Eureka! Virtual reality! If my calculations are correct, I should be able to enter cyberspace and root that computer's bug. Before we go bug hunting, we want to, of course, get the remaining two blueprints. So that would make our job a little bit easier when we go bug hunting. Now we can construct the blueprint. This is too easy. Ah, ah, 
Computer, what has happened to my beautiful nuclear reactor? It appears a number of rogue atoms have infested the nuclear core. Unless they are eliminated, full power cannot be restored. Pesky rogue atoms, wait till I get a hold of them! Dexter, this is the atomic shrinker, which can reduce anything to the size of an atom. Eureka! By using the atomic shrinker and my new hovercraft, I should be able to enter the nuclear reactor and remove any rogue atoms. Okay, our first mini game today is where we our challenge is to eliminate all the rogue atoms in there and collect the blue glowing cores afterwards. Of course, use the arrow keys to move, X to triangle to use your thrusters, the square or circle to push the blaster, L1 or R1 to use a stun attack when you jump up and down. As you can see, on the top, there's a bar of FX during the atom. You want to keep the bar more to the left. If the bar gets fully to the right where the odd atom is, you will end up losing a life and you have to repeat the level. On the bottom left are how many remaining lives you have for Dexter, in order to win this mini game. And on the right is how many rogue atoms you need to eliminate in order to move on to the next level. So for this example, for this level we need to eliminate 10 rogue atoms in order to move on. These are different ones basically just the one eye ones. As you progress with the levels, they get a bit tricky. Of course, I can, I can always use my thrusters just to stun them. And you know, As you can see, these, these two atoms are more difficult to find. The trick is you have to stun them first in one place, followed by a garage of blaster shots. Otherwise, it will be tricky to hit them straight. See, as you can see, I'm having trouble right there. The blaster is actually working. That's why it's going to be done. Shockwave.
The reactor is now at optimum output. Laboratory alert status has been downgraded. Now that we've completed this mini game, we're going to head back to the other end and complete the bug hunt of the mini game. Virtual reality. If my calculations are correct, I should be able to enter cyberspace and root out computer's bug. Directional buttons help you steer and steer around the circle board. The X and triangle lets you run forward. The square and circle is to jump. L1 and R1 are to squash the bug. <laughs> The circuitry is now fully operational. Laboratory now, alert status has been downgraded. You can go back and utilize the elevator to the lab to take on matter. Always warms my heart. I'm 
must take advantage of this blackout to catch men, Dark, when he least expects it. It is slightly annoying that you have made it thus far. I would like to stay and explain the logic of my decision to shut down your laboratory, but I don't have time, and neither will you. Nothing much time to disrupt the ray! Well, that's all we have for today, folks. Come no, back next time to again? see you young Grandpa Dexter take on Mandor in the third part of the Mandor Slap series. Don't again. Be at the PS1. Thank you, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like along the way. Cheers.